What's up fellow Minecrafters? Today we're going to be going through installing Optifine and shaders to your Minecraft world. We're going to come over to optifine.net from here we're going to go to downloads and then we're going to go to the version that we want. So that's 1.20, click on preview versions and then we can click on either download or mirror. I'm going to go to download and we have a separate screen where we have to wait for five seconds on the top before we go ahead and download. Perfect, let's go ahead, click skip and we should have the download right here click again and you're going to download the file. Last but not least you're going to want a shader pack which you can then add on after you've got it installed. I'm going to go to VLS because they've already updated to 1.20. So let's go ahead and click download. However to be more precise or if you're doing it for a separate version I suggest clicking on the actual shader itself, finding the exact version you want and then going ahead and downloading it from here. As you can see this works for 1.20. So let's go and download this file. Slightly differently but you will wait for a countdown over here. Once it's done, wait for your download to start. This time it's going to be a zipped file. Now what we're going to do is we're going to access our downloads folder double click the jar file that you downloaded from Optifine for 1.20. You're going to get a very similar screen and we're going to go ahead and click install. You can see the path that it takes there. If it doesn't do that, obviously do make it match. Obviously it should get that automatically. And there we go, we're done already. Like with Forge, you can now go ahead and delete the Optifine installer. We don't need that. All we now need is BLS shaders. And to do that, we can also go ahead and log in game. So let's go ahead and log in game and we can add the shaders in there. As you can see, this has now changed to Optifine 1.20 rather than Forge 1.20, which we do still have. However, now we have an Optifine find version. Again if you haven't go to installations and you can also find it by making sure that modded is ticked, going to new installation and then finding it in the list below here. So now let's go ahead and play with Optifine. And I just want to add at this point that adding Optifine is standalone so you don't actually need Forge to use Optifine. So now let's go down to options. We're going to go to the video settings then we're going to go down to shaders. As you can see I already have quite a lot of shaders in here already however I'm going to go ahead and access my shader folder and I'm simply going to drag my new version of the shader into that folder. Making sure that I remember the name because I have multiple there we go, now it's in there and ready. With that back to Minecraft, I'm now going to select the shader that I've just uploaded. It might take a minute, don't worry, it hasn't suddenly frozen, it just does that depending on the shader. Now we're going to go ahead to done, click done again, done for a third time, then let's log into a game. Perfect, and we've loaded up a more into world with a shader, and I'm ready to get crafting. As ever guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps a ton of my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!